Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the F5 uh, appliance on the EVNG. But before that, I will also walk you through how to install EVNG on your Windows machine. Now, uh, assuming that you have already the VMware workstation installed in your system, uh, that is the prerequisite. But if you don't have it already installed, I will, you know, copy the link of my another video on YouTube, which walks you through how to download as well as how to install VMware Workstation 16 Pro, including license on Windows 10 or any Windows for that matter of fact. So for that, you have to check the description of this video. So assuming now you have been a VMware workstation already installed in your system. Now what you have to do is you need the EVNG OVF files. For that what you do is you go to the EVNG website here. And once you are here, then you have to go to the download section, which is this one. And then in the download section, you have to click on the free EVE community edition. Remember this community edition is free and the professional EVNG is paid. So we have to download the EVNG community edition. Now here you get four links to download the uh, community edition. Two are for ISO and two are for OVF files. So I would suggest you to go for OVF file because this is like a template and it's just it just needs to be imported to VMA workstation on all the settings are already done there if you're not familiar with this stuff. If you are more pro, you can also go for EV, uh, EVNG ISO file and then customize your EVNG virtual machine accordingly, right? So I will go and click on this OVF file. Now it opens up a Windows, I mean, Google Drive folder and you can download it. But I have already downloaded this because this is more than one GB. So it's already in my system. So I will go here in the drive and have already saved it to my drive. So it should be in my E drive and EVNG. And this is the one. So you will get this zip file. You have to right click and extract the file here like this. And then you will get this folder. Now, after going to going inside this folder, you will find the three files, MF, OVF and .vmdk. So you have to click on the OVF file, right click and then open with, and then choose VMware Workstation, right? Once you choose the VMware Workstation, it will prompt you for, uh, I mean, you to name the virtual machine. So for example, say EVNG, and then you have to click on the path where you want to install it, right? Then just, if you want to change, you can just browse and say, you don't want to install it in C, you want to install it in some other drive, right? Uh, and then you click on import, and then the process of importing will, importing will begin, right? Now, I have already done this because this takes uh, quite a um, I mean, period, I mean, almost five, 10 minutes to save that I've already done it and I have the imported virtual machine already in my work workstation. Now, once you have this, this device by default is set to take eight GB of your RAM and four processors and a 50 GB of hard disk. Now I know this 50 GB may be less depending on the type of uh, devices you copy inside the EVNG, but this is the minimum requirement. So make sure that you have, I mean, memory at least 16 gigs in your host machine and at least four, eight processors, right? So how to check that? You just go to task manager and then it will open the task manager and then you can click on the performance tab. So if you go here, and then you click on the performance tab here, it will show you the number of, uh, I mean, if you click on the CPU, it will show you how many processors you have. I have eight logical processors, four I am giving to the EVNG, uh, and then uh, uh, four I'm, uh, uh, the host machine is using, right? And then also, if you talk about the memory, I have 16 gigs in my, um, this machine and I will be giving away eight GBs to my uh, EVNG machine. So that is fine, right? So that's how you do it. And now let's go to the machine here. If you want to edit it, you can do it. Like you just click on the memory tab here or anywhere in the screen or even the edit virtual machine. And then you can minimize or maximize the resources here. So I will keep it with the default, which is eight gigs. 
and also just the network settings that needs to be bridged that's it right and i will power on the virtual machine now you will have we have to wait for the virtual machine to boot up and it will take an ip address from the dhcp of your lan or your wireless lan so we will wait for the machine to boot up the machine is booting up as of now i can see we will have to wait for a particular period this does take time so you have to be patient and wait for the machine to boot up okay so the machine is booting up now i would suggest you to closely monitor the cpu usage on your machine and the memory usage by keeping this task manager open all the time Now you see that it has taken an IP address, which is a uh, DCP IP address of 192.168.1.7. So I can go to my browser here and I can just open the 192.168.1.7, hit enter, and it will let me log into the GUI. Now by default, the username is admin and password is EVE. And you click and enter. Now you are inside D, so you can create a new lab. Say this is F F5, right, and hit enter. So now you can just right click and add the node here on the virtual machine. But uh, as of now, we don't have the, I mean, most of the images not installed in the EVNG. So this is how you install the EVNG in your Windows machine. Now, the next step is to install the F5. As you can see, when I click on the node, it, I can see the F5 appliance is grayed out, right? This one. So how do we install that? So for that, first of all, we have to download the EVNG, uh, sorry, F5, uh, uh, OS from the F5 website. So you go to the F5 trial, or you can say trial, yeah, or you can say, yeah, let's go to F5 trial. And you can click on the big IP virtual edition like this. Now if you directly go to the uh, F5 website, you can just go to the solution and products and you should see the uh, somewhere you have support sorry and then you can see the software downloads yeah the software downloads and then from there it should okay so you this is redirecting to click on find a download and then here you can click on the big ip uh, virtual edition so i'll go for say 15 edition i'll click on the 15 and then here it will uh, tell you what you want to download so i want to go for the virtual edition click on that and then you have to accept the end user software license agreement now this is where you download the uh, file so if you want to deploy this on vmware workstation you can go for ova file here but i want to deploy this on the uh, evng right so i need the qcow 2 extension file so this is the one so i'll just click on that and download it i just need to click here and then it will redirect me to another web uh, portal and then i can just click on the https and it will start downloading so just to save time i've already downloaded this so if i go to here and you can see the big ip appliance is already done so what i need to do is i need to just extract it here like this okay and after that what i need to do is i need to uh, win scp to my uh, evng or if you can also go to the evng website here just close it and go to the documentations part and then again you can go to the how to section how to section and then you can go to the um, f5 install f5 so you can just scroll down big ip f5 right so here also all the uh, methods to i mean how to install the evng inside evng oh, sorry f5 inside evng is mentioned clearly but we will follow this and it says about the 14 so the the process is going going to be same um whether it's 14 or any else so what you need to do is first of all you need to create this folder right so i will just copy this um command i'll open up a notepad
and I'll paste this. Control A. I think the format is very big, so I'll just edit the format and make it 22. Okay. Okay, fine. So even I can make it more smaller. And I can just change it to courier like that. And make it 15, right? Okay, that seems fine. So I will make this as 15. This doesn't matter actually. You can just do anything like this. Okay. Or something like this, 15 then hyphen this, right? So this is what you need. You need actually it to start with big, big IP. Okay. So I'll just copy this command and I can go to the uh, I mean, EVNG CLI here and the password is um, the CLI login is root and EVE. So I can lo log in here and again, EVE, EVE, oh, okay. So I forgot to initialize it. So first of all, um, you should go into the EVNG like this and then hit enter and example domain is fine. Now you can here select with DHCP or you want, I mean, you, would, you can stay with DHCP or you can change it to static. To change it to static, let's change it to static. To change it to static, you need to just, uh, I mean, press the down arrow key and hit the space bar and then hit enter. And now it's asking for the static IP address. So I'll go for 192, say 192, 190, the num, num, num lock is not working. 192, 168, 1 dot, say 200. And the uh, mask is slash 24. And the gateway 192, 1.1 because that is the router that I have. And the DNS, let's keep it as Google and my router itself. NTP, anything fine, hit okay, okay. And then direct connection, hit okay. Now it will restart the management interface. And then you should see the new IP address assigned to your uh, EVNG. So we were we were able to access EVNG on the 1.7. Now it should be working on 192.168.1.200. And now let it restart. Yeah. So now let this restart, okay. So after this restarts, what you can do is now you need either to party to this EVNG management interface, and you also need another software, which is WinSCP. So that's why I told you to uh, download the uh, other file, which is going to be the downloads. And then you should download the Windows client side, this software. Uh, so it should be these two links. Yeah, you just should just download and install this. This is just a wizard, uh, like normal uh, packages that you have for Windows. And what this will do is it will install all the other small uh, applications that you would require, like the putty and the WinSCP and all those stuff. Um, so now I will run the WinSCP here. And now you can see that, um, I mean, the management IP has been changed to 1.200, right? So now let's wait for the win, win SCP to come up. Okay, now the win SCP is here and uh, I can just win SCP to my EVNG 192.168.1.200. And then you have to enter the root and EVE here and login. Now this will take you to the root folder of your EVNG virtual machine. Now here, what you have to do is, so if you go here, it says make directory, OPT, unit lab, add on schema, and then big IP. So you can do this from the CLI as, as well as from the WinSCP. What you do, you go to this directory, which is OPT, unit labs, add on, sorry, platform. I click the wrong file, sorry. And then you click on the add ons. Inside add ons, it says you go to chemo and you create a new directory, new directory with the name starting with big IP done. Now, when you go to the big IP folder, then you have to go and now I have taken out this file, right? So I can just drag and drop it in the folder here. Now this will copy this big IP QCOW2 file to the EVNG machine. Okay, so now you will have to wait for this to complete. Okay, so now that the uh, big IP has been copied to this uh, folder, now what we can do is we can go to the F5 website, sorry, not the F5, the EVNG website and go to the documentation section. And we can go here to the how to section. And from the how to section, we have to go to the F5 installation section, like right? this one. Now here it says after copying the file to the folder, you have to rename the file 
to virtue.qcom. So this is what you are going to do, right? So you can just go again here and just click once and just rename this like this virtue.qcom2, right? And then you have to go and copy this whole command copy and then go here and log in as root EVE. And then you can just edit and should have the paste option. No, I don't have the paste option here. Copy. Edit and no, I don't have the paste option. So what I can do is I can go and um, putty to this EVNG, right? P U T T Y putty. And then I can go to 192, 168, 1.200 and SSH. And I can say yes. Login as root EVE. I can just maximize this a little bit. And then I can right click and paste the command and hit enter. And I will do this for one more time. Let this complete. And then should complete now. It's taking a bit more. It's okay. Okay, that is done. Now, uh, to be safe, I will do it twice. That's it and done. Now I can go to my workstation. I mean, the EVNG here, which is on 200. I think so. It's on 200. Yeah. 192, 200 correct. I can also open up a new one, new tab, and I can HTTP to 192.168.192.168.1.200. This should open up my EVNG. Cool. Username is admin, password is EVE, and enter. Now, once I I'm here, I can right click and click on node. And now if I scroll down, I should see the big IP here. Nice. And I can now save it. Now, remember you cannot edit this because uh, if you do so, uh, this is not uh, valid for the trial version. So keep it at, at two and four MB, I mean, RAM for four gig and two vCPUs, that is more than sufficient. And to connect this to your local machines uh, management, you can just um, get a network here and bridge it to the management cloud and save. And now you, what you do is you just connect this big IPs management interface to this cloud. That's it. Now the management IP needs to be from the 192.168, 1 1.0 subnet. And from the local machine, you can just access the management GUI or the dashboard of your F5. So I'll just show you that it will boot up and it'll prompt for the login credentials. Now, after this, you need the, win uh, the Windows machine or a Linux machine, Linux tiny core. And also you need the um, Cisco routers to uh, run the HTTP services. So to install all the all this stuff, I will paste the link in my uh, video so that you can just uh, go to those videos separately and install those devices to complete this lab. Okay, so we can wait for a while so that this big IP does get initialized and this will initialize because uh, I mean, that's the only thing now needed because if you see here, booting from the hard disk, right? Uh, if the, I mean, the device fails here, for example, you just run it and the color of the device goes back to grayish. So that means either the, uh, the name uh, that we renamed here, right, is wrong. This name, this name is wrong. Or just check the big IP uh, folder name also. That needs to be, I mean, start with big IP hyphen and, uh, and then anything, depending on the version you have, right? So that's it for this video. And uh, hope you like the content on my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, please do head, hit the subscribe button and uh, and also, uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get the latest notifications of the videos that I upload on my YouTube channel. So till then, bye-bye.